Heavyweight Showdown. All right, here he is, the decorated kickboxer, back for more here tonight, and he's so comfortable. Ready. Crowd getting excited as this fight gets underway, and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist. But on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true five tool play. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is, he knows where the fight needs to be, he knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Well, you saw the tail of the tape, he has a reach advantage and made good use of it there with that punch. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Nice sneaky head kick. Punch man punch. Left hook coming is blocked. Oh, trying to turn out the lights with that roundhouse kick, but just misses. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Joy gets tagged by that stiff jab. Defense not there for him thus far tonight. Oh, nice slip on him for good measure, so making good use of that reach advantage now. Oh, big right hook, but a whiff. Slips that left hand. Just over three minutes to go. Midway through round one. The next with a right. Nice head kick. Throwing that jab, no good. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Powerful leg kick lands. Oh, and another leg kick lands flush, and now you're starting to see visible damage on that lead leg of his arm. Visible damage, and you see him starting to make mistakes now in his defenses because his leg is so beat up. It's red, it's all beat up, he's limping, he's turning away. There are so many things that he is doing wrong now because of the leg damage he has taken. Good punch lands. It's one thing to land a hard shot. It's another thing completely to land a perfect shot. And that was a perfect shot. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Hands up, hands up. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Nice job by him there to slip that offer. Big punch land through the middle. Oh, big head kick. Let's go, oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. And try to establish that jab. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block a shot that's incoming. 
All right, so he continues to use his jab effectively here, DC. He gets that hand to the target pretty quick. I mean, just right away, blasting the jab after jab after jab. He is a phenomenal boxer with a vast understanding of fighting behind an educated jab. 20 seconds to go in round one. Oh, wow! Huge head kick. Effective punch there by the Korean Super Bowl. Oh, nice straight there. I guess that's the quickest way to target, right? Just throw straight. Straight down is always better. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and I'd imagine a lot of these replays are gonna be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're gonna see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going. He'll look to keep winning the fight with this kick. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. Oh, nice right hand. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to throw counters after blocking shots. Nice punch land. He has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may throw the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Nice punch by Joy. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, upper cut counter. That'll leave a mark. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. While the body was wide open, his opponent took advantage. Kick to the body, Lance flush. He's going to have to make some adjustments here moving forward. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Punch coming, it's blocked. A great punch. Oh, perfect timing on the Superman punch. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Ooh, blocks the shot. And he landed the right hand there. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. There's no give on that leg kick. Nice strike. Nice leg kick land. They continue to exchange. Look at him whip his hips into that kick. Job landing the double jab there, DC. I mean, you are definitely pressing that one. You love that one, don't you? You love that jab. Nice straight punch. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense. He's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage.
combination lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. He's put it all together. I mean, everything is just flowing. He's like in a zone. It's like the basketball hoop. He becomes twice in size. This guy today is looking at focus fits in his opponent. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, that right hand is on point. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. Oh, is he a good counter striker? Counters beautifully with the left hand. Good stick. 20 seconds to go round two. Right hand upstairs. Ooh, head kick lands. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. Final seconds here. Head kick attempt, but the fighter got the right hand up. All right, that horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets underway. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. It's a beautiful, fast, quick jab with beating. Well, he's always on the counter attack, but a nice leg kick there by Choi. Throws the right hand there. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Pretty significant welt to the left side. Lands another beautiful strike to the body, really starting to connect at will when it comes to work in the body, and especially effective doing it later in this fight. Didn't see a lot of that from him in the earlier rounds. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Big hook. Get right here. Oh, beautiful head movement. Slips there. Choi's head kick looked like that one was blocked. Nice punch there. Oh, big Superman punch there. Put him up. Just missing on the counter there. Big kick land. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Nice one, two there. Finish with the kick. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Choi's shot is blocked. Superman punch now. Liver kick. If you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. Gotta check these low leg kicks. Hands up, hands up. 
Oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating, working the body, and those shots are gonna count. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Collar tie. Oh, big head kick land. Nice punch lands over the top. Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. How about it? And they separate. It almost looked like he went limp there for a second. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, body kick attempt here, it's no good. Beautiful head kick. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Gotta be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you gotta like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. Super Bowl. Oh man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots coming man, this way. Get that out of here. He sees it coming. You're gonna have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. Ten seconds now to go in the round. Look at the angle of that nice body. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent, thought he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC. And uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding. And look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent. And as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. All right, so next round underway here, and you got to admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. Oh, here comes the kick. That one blocked by the Korean Super Bowl. Visibly limping here. Take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Punch over the top. Slips to avoid the right. Choi's kick to the body, that one blocked. Oh, and that one snapped the head back. The referee has seen enough. Winner by TKO. He mercifully stopped the fight. A great stoppage and a great performance by this young man. So a huge win by TKO for him here tonight. A seminal moment in his UFC career, and that could hold up as one of the better TKOs of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's going to stop this contest at one minute, six seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by TKO Hansuka. Well, the celebration is on over there in the corner, and nothing subdued about it. They put a lot of time into this training camp.